What's going on? This is Patty with KHTS, and I am joined live with the one, the only, Mr. Cardinalis. Carden! Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? I be, I be. You always make me feel so good saying the one and the only. <laughs> because you are the one. And I, I don't know any other Carden Ellis. I, I just, you know, it's you're, you're one of a kind. That's a exterminator. <laughs> oh, also true. By the way, we're going back to the phrase exterminator. Are we going back? Yeah, for a, the longest time. I started out with another pest control company in mm -hmm. my youth, the yeah. national company. Right. And they were huge in training saying, don't call yourself an exterminator. We don't do exterminations. We do treatments. We don't right. use pesticides. We use products, you know, and there was this huge euphemistic push to um, not use the term. Right. And then also just to call whatever we had these generic terms like eco-friendly or right. green who knows what that means? A green solution, but everybody likes it because oh, it's not quote those chemicals, right? Right, dude. Culturally, we have completely gone like full circle now. Yeah, I look at some of our Google analytics, uh -huh. and I look at some of like our search queries and everything. Uh huh. And gone are the days of like the millennial. I I shouldn't say gone are the days, but like diminished. Yeah, diminished are the days of. Okay, um, I'm looking for an all organic solution to this flea problem. I think people have realized that a lot of the organic solutions don't sometimes work as well as the right. traditional ones. So, like, just give me an exterminator. <laughs> and so, I look at all of our <laughs> Google search inquiries now, and extermination used to be like fourth, fifth, sixth, maybe seventh. Now it's like one. one, two, or three. Like I think people are just tired of it. They're like, I want the real stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which is kind of actually a, a little bit a little bit sad though, because there's some actually awesome um natural and organic solutions out there for certain problems. Yeah. But I think we're definitely finding more of a balance now as a society. So anyway, I'm sorry. I, I veer verbose. Oh no, no. It was it actually and, kind of has to do with what I was actually gonna ask you because okay, you were talking so about natural me. products. Okay. Because like so, Cardin, I hear your commercials and I like the idea of a most natural solution to termites, but I don't really know how it works. So, like, how does orange oil, that's the one in particular, how, so does, how does that orange actually, oil work? Oh, yes. Yeah, wow. Actually, it's so fortuitous that we talked about, quote, extermination, end quote, before uh -huh. you asked me that question. Because orange oil is awesome, and it is the most natural solution. Right. It's act but I switched to orange oil not at all for any of the cultural fad reasons. Like, 10, 15 years ago is really when... Um, the cultural fad of, you know, all organic, all green, holistic, uh, uh, mommy Instagram using ground cucumbers to try and fight ants, you know, and then having 1 million views for it, and then getting sponsored by some, uh, a chemical company that, you know, makes basically water. <laughs> you know right. What I'm right. As a pesticide. So, um, anyway. I switched to using orange oil years ago because it was technically better. It was more effective. Okay. And it's it's one of those things where science totally provided us an awesome, most natural solution. What it is, is have you ever peeled an orange and actually squirted yourself in the eye? Yes. Yes. Yeah, many, every, times. Yeah, <laughs> many times. Yeah. Many times? Many times. You really like oranges, right? <laughs> I do. It's worse with, worse with lemons, by the way. <laughs> if you ever try and peel a lime or a lemon, it's worse than a freaking orange. Ow. Yeah. So what happens is delimining the active ingredient of orange oil. It's actually not even the active ingredient. It's the ingredient oh, of wow. orange oil. Orange oil is delimining, which is actually the essential oil squeezed from the rind of oranges. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, that sounds like, oh, super awesome. Like we all got a friend that sells doTERRA, right? You know, we all got a friend that sells <laughs> essential oils. And we're thinking, oh, I want to spritz my body with this, or I want to, you know, have it cure <laughs> acne or something, right? Yeah. No. Um, you could degrease your engine with this stuff. Oh, really? Oh, it's crazy. In fact, whenever you use citrus cleaners to uh -huh. get rid of like Goo Gone, oh, yeah, that yeah. stuff, Goo Gone I don't think is a citrus cleaner, but whatever the citrus Something version similar. of Goo Gone is, right? You'll look at those. Uh, some of the household cleaners that are orange oil cleaners, right? Mm -hmm. They'll be like 8, 15, 25% orange oil and the rest will be water or some other kind of catalyst oil or whatever um, or perfumes to make it smell even more citrusy. Dude, orange oil 
is like 95 to 99% wow. pure D limonene. Wow. We got to use gloves with this stuff or else it'll strip the body oils off ooh. of your fingers. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ooh, ooh. dude, dude. Yeah. D- uh, the, like we always have to wear like personal protective equipment. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, of course. But we wear like the extra big goggles with this stuff. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You always Heavy gotta duty. Wear, you always got to wear eye protection. But we were like the really big ones that make us look like Audrey Hepburn in like those <laughs> 1960s movies. Yeah. You know? But um, because this stuff, let me tell you, it's awesome because it's it it's it's the most natural solution. I mean, derived literally straight from oranges. But when you find a termite colony and you drill into that wood and you drill into the the colony and then you inject that that those tunnels that they've created mm-hmm. with the orange oil. It soaks through the orange oil. First off, it's a contact kill. It instantaneously kills the ter- uh, the termites by melting their exoskeleton. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, does that sound gnarly? Yeah. Okay, you remember the original Indiana Jones yeah. and the, the the one with the Ark of the Covenant? Yes, the first they, one. They op- Yeah, the first one. Okay, and they open up the Ark of the Covenant, all the ghosts fly around, and then everybody's faces started like melting. Yeah. And you could totally tell that it was a wax statue that was getting melted and then sped up in real time when we had like analog special effects in Hollywood, uh-huh. right? Okay, so for those that haven't seen it yet, you got to look that up on YouTube. Um, I know we have a, a young audience there that has not experienced a, a good Indiana Jones film in their lifetime. We should I say. have. I've seen all three. Yeah. The, well, the Crystal Skull one was, you know what I'm saying? No. So anyway, um, the point is we have an endoskeleton, meaning our bones are in the inside of our body. Of course. And it's covered by flesh. And then we have skin. That's why we can get so large. We're one of the largest mammals on earth, right? Mm-hmm. Um, in the insect world is so diverse and weird because they have an exoskeleton, meaning their skeletons on the outside of their body. That's why when you step on a roach, you hear it crunch and then squish because their organs are on the inside of their skeleton. And that's why they can get such big leverage for legs so crickets can jump so far. That's why they have such um, interesting bodies so like the beetles can get those long noses and so on and so forth. Right. Because their skeleton is on the outside and when you – literally inject orange oil into that gallery the thin waxy layer called chitin Mm -hmm. that's on there or chitin i can't remember how it's pronounced on their body literally gets melted you melt just like the indiana jones guys you melt their face off just like tenacious d says the best rock and roll (laughs) you know what i'm saying (laughs) will melt your face off like okay you literally melt the face off of these termites and then it soaks through the rest of the wood and kind of like just how water will travel through a paper towel. Mm -hmm. It's called the capillary effect. Yeah. The orange oil will travel through the wood slowly over the next four to eight hours. Uh Uh-huh. And it melts the exoskeleton of every other insect in that entire piece of wood. Wow. And it's all natural. Yeah. Well, it's pure orange. Dude, yeah. It's crazy. From the rind, not from the not the juice that you squirt right. in your face. The rind. You know? Yes. Yeah. That, isn't that wow. hardcore? That's really hardcore. That's awesome. So I think now when I leave the office to go do an orange oil termite job from here on out, I'm be like, hey, babe, I'm leaving to go melt the face off of some of these termites. <laughs> <You know? laughs> do like the rocker pose, like, let's yeah. go out there and melt some faces. W- would that be like super masculine and macho? <laughs> That would be. All you, the ladies in the audience are groaning right now. Just like, oh, who is this cat? <laughs> Jack, Jack <laughs> Black would just be giving you the thumbs yeah, up. Jack, like, rock Jack, on, dude. Jack Black would approve in, in School of Rock. Uh, I know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Carden, I, I want to thank you so much for that. Because, no, that literally, like, that just blew my mind. And I'm sure that blew a lot of everybody yes, else's mind. just tell your too. friend, orange oil works by melting their exoskeletons off. Oh, that's how you I'm going to s- explain it to everybody it now. It smells good, though. Oh, yeah, it smells good. That evaporation definitely. process makes your whole house smell like it got cleaned by, yeah. like, an organic cleaning crew. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. like that. <laughs> Oh, man. Carden, I don't want to keep any more of your time. You've been fantastic on explaining just orange oil and just how it works. Uh, uh, You know what? I have kept you long enough. Uh, Thank you so much for sharing the amazing effects of orange oil and just how awesome that actually sounds. Uh, Carden, how can we get in touch with you? Oh, just give us a call. Give us a call. 661-BUG-7575. That's 661-284-7575. 661-284-7575. Yeah. Sweet. And we can find you at www.unipest.com. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Calls Sweet. are best, though. Sweet. Calls are best. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, 
Carden, thank you so much for coming in. This is Patty with KHGS. And uh, you can, uh, you know, call Carden at his number there. You can also go to www.unipest.com. And for more information on any KHGS-related media, check us out on Facebook or listen to us live on the radio at 98.1 FM, AM 1220, KHGS.